In culture takes more than just great players, of course. It's a combination of factors coming together, creating a cohesive environment. And the Brewers believe they're doing just that this season. Brandon Cruz goes beyond the game. If there was ever a perfect way to find out how great the new facilities for the Brewers are at spring training, bring on the rain. They were able to find that out two days during spring, and it made a big difference. I think with this new facility with all the cages you have around, it's, um, it's easy to get your work done even though it's raining outside. It's always sunny in Arizona, except when it isn't. In previous years, the rain would wash out a day's work. Not anymore. Obviously, we have enough room with this new facility to get our work done in the weight room. It's just one of those things we work around. It's occupational hazard, I guess. It's exactly what owner Mark Atanasio was looking for when he decided to invest in a complete renovation of what was known as Maryvale Baseball Park. I had to make a decision, are we going to sequence it or, or just do everything at once? And we did everything at once. The cost? $65 million, but who's counting? Oh. <laughs> the complex is unbelievable. I think um, we got a little spoiled. Um, but, you know, what the workers did, uh, you know, for 10 months to get this place up and running is unbelievable. Now known as the American Family Fields of Phoenix, spring training for the Brewers looks much different. They did an extraordinary job of integrating all the practice fields with the facilities. They did an extraordinary job of melding the buildings that we kept that looked like they were, you know, the new buildings and the old buildings were always together. It makes everything more convenient, you know, everything flows better. Um, you know, we got our training rooms right here. Everything's, you know, like I said, it's at our fingertips. You know, we just got to utilize them. Craig Council's message to the team has always been one of connectivity. Now that also includes the facility, as anything a player needs is just steps away. Everything that you need is here. Uh, you don't have to go to the local gym. You don't have to go to the doctor for anything. Like You have all doctors on site. You have all the training staff. Uh, you have all the hydrotherapy tubs and things to, to make sure your body is, is ready to be on the field. And, um, you know, you couldn't ask for anything more. The focus is clearly on allowing the players to excel with the least amount of obstruction possible. This place is doing that, even clearing away any mental hurdles that used to get in the way. I mean, it's fun to come to a, a facility like this. I mean, it's it kind of just fits perfect where we're at right now. I mean, we're we're an exciting team. We got a, we got a brand new complex now, and I feel like everything right now is trending trending upward for the Milwaukee Brewers and the whole organization. While it's getting praise from everyone in the organization, there are some changes they've been adjusting to. First of all, I can't find my way around because it's so it's so big. And you might lose some guys. I feel like you go some days without seeing some people uh, if you're not all in the same room at the same time. But uh, you know, it, it really is great uh, and spread out. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of things that. Um, that we have here now that we didn't in the past. You feel like you need a walkie-talkie trying to talk across this clubhouse. It's so big. And come October, the Brewers hope that their experience here in February and March made all the difference in the world. From spring training, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 Sports. <laughs> Fans hope